I'm shut down because of a pandemic, I'm making zero, but guess what's still going? Not just my relationships, but while I'm making zero, my rent still, still needs to be paid. Because my landlord didn't take off during the pandemic. <laughs> right? Public service didn't take off during the pandemic. CenturyLink or Xfinity or whomever I owe, they don't take off during the pandemic. And quite frankly, they really didn't give a damn. You understand what I'm saying? But relationships is what was what made me able to sustain. This is a true story. And a lot of times we don't want to, especially as, as, as business people, we don't want to admit certain vulnerabilities. But as a small business person, you get put out of business for two months. A lot of times that's just going to take your business down. And many businesses, businesses shut their doors, right? Many bars, many restaurants, many barbershops and beauty salons shut their doors because they could not survive being out of business for two or three months, or whatever the case may be, right? This is what I did. I was still, I still needed my rent paid. And my rent, you know, in Denver, for a little space, 900 square feet, amounts to about $2,500 a month, right? I don't have no way to pay it. I, I, I got a little bit of change from when I was working, but I don't want to uh, give up all of my finances to pay my rent when I don't know when I'm going back to work, and yet I still have to take care of my family, right? So what I did was I said, man, I'm, I'm going to try something in terms of this relationship. Because I've been cutting some young men since they were since they were brought into into the shop in a, in a carrier, a baby carrier, right? Very first here. Some of them in this room, and so that's a long relationship that I've had with these people, their parents and whatnot. So what I did was I said, look, I got on Facebook and I said I made a post. I said, look, for all of those who know me for 20 plus years, I'm having an issue with COVID-19. My business is in danger of being shut down. If you all who have a relationship with me, who know me, could just give me five dollars. Five dollars. I can stay in business. If I, if I, if I got uh, five dollars with Facebook friends, right? I should be all right. And you know what, you guys? I was all right. By God's grace, people, man, people start pouring in. But, and, and when they started giving, they didn't give five. They was giving 50 and 100 or more. You know what I'm saying? But it was, it's all about relationships. And so when you go into business, first off, and I don't know how much time I go. I have to. You let me know. Don't let me know. <laughs> First off, don't go into business just to make money. For one, when you go into business, you should go into business doing something that you love. Come on, come on. That's so important. And you say, why? <laughs> we just need to make some money. No, you should go into business doing something that you love. We work. I believe it was one of the Rockefellers who devised the 40-hour the work week. We work 40 hours a, a week, right? So when you divide that up, we work uh, eight hours a day. How many hours are there in a day? 24. There's 24 hours in a day, right? You work for eight of them. It's going to take you, just depending on where you live, in Denver traffic, it's going to take you at least an hour to get there. You know what I'm saying? So you're talking about an hour there and an hour back. That's 10 hours out of your day. Then, once you get home, you got a little bit of time to spend with your family. Then you go to sleep. You're supposed to sleep for eight hours a day. So it really takes up all of your time. So shouldn't you do something? Thanks, I got three minutes. Shouldn't you do something? <laughs> so if you're going to do it for, for, for eight hours or a third of your day, a third of your life, it amounts to. Shouldn't you do something that you love? Right? Yes. yes. You yes. should absolutely yes. do something that you love. And at the same time, you're doing something that you love. When you do something that you 
you love, that love is going to translate. Love and life are essentially the same exact thing. That which you love, you give life. Right? If you love your wife, you can't just tell her. Am I here by myself? What is going on? But I love you, baby. No, you don't, man. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You got to show her. You have to give her a life. Does that make sense? Life is energy. Life is what makes us move. Life is what, when you, when you, when you give something a life, especially your job, it's going to translate. People are going to feed off of it. That's why we have good relationships. When B cuts uh, Chris's hair, he's giving it his all. And so as a result, when Chris listens to uh, Mary, he's like, damn, good, right? <laughs> but that's because B gave you life. Because he gave you love. So that's my time. Thank you all. Guys, like these are questions. Any question that's not asked is a is a stupid question. All right, guys. But you don't want to go home and say, "Damn, but my brother really wants to open up a barbershop. Like, right. How is it done?" Ask this man. He already did it. That's what we're here for. Brother Herman. Brother Herman, I want to know. Where, where do we get your book from? Where the book is right outside. Thank you, sir. <laughs> where Where did you get this wisdom from? Are you just <laughs> And I didn't, uh, the wisdom, that, that's another thing that you can find in my book. Uh, you should, in terms of learning who it is that you want to be, or what you want to model as a business person, or just as a, as a human being, don't be afraid to ask people who are going to be teachers, yes. who are going to serve as teachers. And what I mean by teachers is someone who actually is going to guide you to the place that you want to go. You see what I'm saying? If, if I want to learn about real estate, man, I've got to go to Del Delroy and ask me, how do I do real estate? If I want to learn about real estate again, i got to go to Brother Vern, and I can ask him about refereeing as well. You know what I'm saying? If I want to get swole, like my brother back here, <laughs> you know, i got to find him as a teacher and ask him to teach me and train me. My teacher, by God's grace, is, is a beautiful black man. Many of you might know he's the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He's taught me everything that I know. I can't deny him, ever. You know what I'm saying? But not just about being a professional, but being a man, being a human being, being a person who wants to contribute to society. This, this, this thing is so important uh, in terms of teaching entrepreneurship because to be an entrepreneur, really, uh, business is the activity of life, right? It's the activity of life. It's not just about making money. Again, it's about relationships, but it's about the activity of living. We're in a business right now. I just left the business. If I stop to get some gas on the way home, I'm going to be in a business. You see what I'm saying? Everything that we do is really about business. So this is so important. It's more important even than voting. Even though we got our brother out there registering people to vote, and we should register to vote, because when you are an entrepreneur, when you are a business person, and your your uh, your views don't align or ally up with Donald Trump or Joe or Joe Biden, mine don't personally. But if I'm a business person and I got money, now I can do what real business people do with regard to uh, politics, and I can just buy me a politician. With that, that's the right. All right, guys. So.